Hi everyone, my name is Shane Sexton. I'm an instructor here at Stormwind. And I want to take a quick look at what all is entailed in the Cisco CyberOps Associate certification and exam. So at a high level, it's broken down into five areas. There is the first domain, which is security concepts, kind of the basic stuff like what the CIA triad is, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, uh, the difference between risks and threats and exploits and vulnerabilities, and uh, other security concepts, things like defense and depth. The next section is security monitoring, which has to do with, for instance, different data types that you might monitor. For, like as an example, there's a difference and there's pros and cons to using NetFlow data versus using full packet captures. So data types uh, get significant coverage as do different types of attacks, whether they're web application attacks, host-based attacks, social engineering attacks. A lot of those are covered in the security monitoring section. After that, we move on to host-based analysis, and that has uh, topics including host-based uh, security technologies, things like anti-malware and host intrusion detection systems, and also ways to monitor hosts. And uh, for instance, analyzing operating system logs and application logs, and also doing some degree of forensics, like making a good forensic copy and ensuring that it's valid using hashing algorithms. Network intrusion analysis is, you can probably guess what it is uh, all about, but it includes like network security technologies, firewalls, network intrusion detection and prevention devices, uh, network-based anti-malware. And it has pretty good coverage of using Wireshark for protocol analysis, uh, detecting or analyzing packet captures, PCAP file, files in Wireshark. And also you have to have a pretty good understanding of protocol headers across various protocols and layers of the OSI model, whether it's Ethernet or ARP or IP, V4 or V6, uh, TCP, UDP, you know, DNS, uh, SMTP, HTTP. So you gotta be like pretty familiar with the common protocols that you would expect to see if you're packet capturing with Wireshark. The next and the last section is security policies, which includes a kind of common management uh, and business uh, processes, things like change management, configuration management, asset management. And above that, it also has coverage of different standards and frameworks, things like the NIST Incident Response Guide, the NIST Guide to Integrating Forensics into Incident Response, and uh, things like the Lockheed Martin Cyber Kill Chain and the Diamond Model of Intrusion Analysis. So it's sort of the, the last section, and it has the least coverage at 15%. But pretty useful information, actually, especially when we get to the cyber kill chain model, which is a really great way of analyzing intrusions. So that's sort of the, the quick breakdown of what's in the cyber ops class. Obviously, if you want to know more, you can always browse to Cisco's website and they give you the full granular information as to what all is included. But that would be like, I don't know, a half hour, 50 minute introductory video. So I'll leave that to you. Uh, this got like the high level points across. So thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you in class.